What is the most important trader skill set that an engineer needs today in 2023 to be successful and grow to the highest levels of your organization? Well, in this week's engineering management lessons video, I have with me Rich Human. Rich is an engineer by background. He's now the president and CEO at H2M Architects and Engineers. And Rich is going to share with us not only what that skill set is, but how you can develop it. So Rich, what is that most important trait or skill set that an engineer can have today? You know, it's, it's interesting. I think that um, when you consider just the, the technical skill set as, as something that needs to be fundamental for all the professionals in AEC, you know, to me, uh, people's ability to communicate is is a trait that I love to see in people. Uh, it it often doesn't align uh, with a lot of the talent that we bring in uh, to the AEC industry. Um, people are often very technical and very analytical, and sometimes communication suffers. Um, but uh, I, I always suggest to people whatever they can do to put themselves in positions to. Um, orally communicate, uh, improve their written communication, uh, you know, understanding how to successfully communicate, you know, delivering a message, making sure the message is received and, and vice versa, um, in, in my opinion, is a, is, is a critical trait, especially today and, and moving forward, you know, because there's, there's so many ways for us to communicate with each other, being really effective in communication is going to be a vital piece of uh, any professional in the AEC industry. Yeah, I agree 100%. And Rich, just to that point, like, you know, for someone like yourself, who's a leader in the firm, and you've been in leadership for some time now, is there any, like, strategies or actions that you could recommend based on your own development that that you found to be helpful to develop those communication skills if someone really wants to try something or try some things, anything you can offer up? Yeah, I think anytime there's an opportunity for a young professional to uh, present in front of a group would be a, a great opportunity. We uh, we have a, a pretty robust internship program here. And, and uh, you know, so eight weeks during the summer, we have, uh, I think, maybe 60 interns here at H2M. Uh, and we work with them in resume building and interviewing. And they all have to do a public presentation to their peers and to the executive team at the end of the summer. Uh, so when I meet with them and talk about what the expectations are for their internship, I, I encourage them to really embrace the opportunity, especially if they have really never spoken in front of a group before, to be confident, uh, to understand that whatever they're presenting is, is their work, their material, so they know their presentation the best, regardless of who they're presenting to. And anytime they can continue to get more and more opportunities to present in front of people, uh, not only is it going to help their communication skills, but it's going to be able to, to build their confidence. And I've seen it firsthand here where uh, you know, people jump at the opportunity to present even in professional organizations. And you can just see um, how successful some of these young professionals are in the AEC industry when they are, uh, you know, communicating well orally. Yeah, I think that's critical because so many people, you'll hear people in the industry say, if you want to be successful as an engineer or technical professional, you got to build your communication skills. But I think what's important about it is if you know that that's going to make you successful and you listen to what Rich just said with some ideas of how to improve it, it's really up to you to do it, right? Like you can volunteer, you can volunteer within your company, you can get involved in an association. There are so many ways you can build your communication skills. And if you do it, you're probably going to be very successful in this industry from what I've seen. So that just really, I just love that because it means it's up to you. It's not something yeah. that like someone else is going to do for you. You have to kind of take it and run with it. Yeah. All right, Rich, listen, thanks so much again. You've given us a lot of great information here. We really appreciate your time today. Thanks for doing this. You're welcome, Anthony. Good to see you. I hope you enjoyed my short conversation here with Rich. He nailed it with communication, but what he did better than just nail it is give us some ideas on how to develop those skills because most people won't tell you how to do it. They'll just tell you to become good communicators. So I hope you'll kind of take the challenge here, volunteer, maybe get out there and speak and build your communication skills as an engineering professional. And please be sure to subscribe to our channel here. We put out videos like this on a weekly basis to help engineers become better managers and leaders. I'll see you next week.